CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Lingren Pittman, purpose-built, high-capacity 12 and 24 volt electric deep drop, dredge and daytime swordfish reels. Number one in design, ease of use, reliability and power. Motor guide, precise maneuverability equals better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Hey guys, I'm Captain Mike and welcome to this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. We've got an absolutely awesome show in store for you. We're down here in Key West. We're getting ready to board the legendary Yankee captains. 20 anglers are going to be joining us. We're headed out way offshore into the Gulf of Mexico. Pulley Ridge areas beyond Pulley Ridge. We're talking about 100 to 120 miles offshore. Really some virgin waters out there. Some of the areas are protected. Some of the areas are open and allowed to fish, but not a lot of guys go out there, not a lot of recreational boats, and really this is one of, if not the only, head boat that fishes out in these waters. So we're super stoked. Stick around. We've got about a 10-hour boat ride ahead of us. See if we can get tight. Fishing these are technique-specific slow pitch rods that we designed. A lot of guys have been asking us about these rods. If you'd like to get your hands on one, just contact us directly. We'll custom build one for you or a whole set. Six foot three, rated for 200 to 350 gram, 400 gram jigs are really ideal. Right now I'm fishing at 180. Oh, he's just digging right back to the bottom. Oh. Match to a Daiwa Salt. Tiga 20HA. You can really see that spiral wrap, that acid wrap in the rod with the guides. Again, no matter how hard that rod is bent over, that line will never touch that blank. And that's really the biggest benefit of those acid wrapped rods. It really just protects that fragile braid. That braid is super strong, but it's made up of tiny little fibers. And if one of those fibers gets damaged, Premature tackle failure every time. Feel like he's hooked, but has those back hooks in the side of his body. That's what's incredible is once you fish this tackle long enough, you could really decipher every move of the fish and distinguish areas, got color there, really distinguish different fighting characteristics between the fish and how they're hooked. Look at that donkey. That is a donkey. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gnarly looking. It's got like an armor coating on him. Looks like a Jurassic Park fish. Yep. Very similar to porgies. And one of the best deep water eating fish right there. Carlos and I are having a little competition. A little friendly competition. Who tags more fish this trip? Got to be careful with him. I'm in the lead right now, but he comes. I'll tell you what, we'll come keep out talking. here one drop. Hey, keep talking, keep talking. I, well, dude, hey, I'm on talking. your side. I'm talking about how, you know, you got to stay ahead of you, man, because you'll come out here and just wreck them one after the other. But we'll see when it's all over. He's still talking, right? What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. 
and that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box, or freezer for every boat. Am I using heavy jigs? I'm using a 300 gram jig. You know, I think one of the toughest decisions is picking which jig to fish. You know what I mean? You've got all of these guys that are really experienced jig fishermen. We all bring dozens of different jigs and different weight classes, different styles, different colors. And knowing you can only fish one at a time, you know, selecting that one jig is often one of the biggest challenges. And I think it could be one of the most rewarding challenges as well. When you connect, you know, you're like, that's the right jig. <laughs> you, know? you know, truthfully, in my particular case, every single fish that I've caught thus far has been on the exact same jig. Okay. Every single fish did on the exact same jig. Right there. So just that same size that I've been fishing the entire trip. I mean, that same style, but just a little bit bigger. You know, another thing real important to talk about is prepping for one of these trips. You don't just wake up on a Thursday morning and drive down. Most of the trips depart on Thursdays. You know, you've got to prep. You've got to spend a lot of time. You know, I like to say, will you get out of it? Will you put into it? Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, essentially, you can fish one rod, one jig or one bait, you know, one bait rod, whatever the entire trip. But you don't know that. So you really have to be ready for everything. You may get in some tangles and lose some lines, so you may need some extra braid or a spare reel. Whatever you need, you better bring because you're not getting it out here, that's for sure. Carlos hooked up there too. And you know, I think another thing, Lyndon, is fishing, you know, the whole time because you never know when that drop is gonna be your drop, you know? As much as you, as much time as you can spend at the rail, spend at the rail. Yeah. You know, you don't know when that's by, that's another mutton, right? You don't know when that, that one drift is gonna be your drift. Oh, yeah. Fatty, baby. Oh, yeah. nice. Studly. Woo! What I call a magic metal. You know, some people may look at that, you may look at that as an artificial lure, as a jig. I look at it as a live bait. You know, I'm bringing that metal to life. And that's something that's really, really, I know you. Something that's really important is jig awareness. It's knowing where that jig is in the water column at all times. How far off the bottom is it? Where are you scoped out? You know, having that jig awareness is absolutely vital to catching fish like that right there. Captain's Kitchen, brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon and braided fishing line. Hi, and welcome to this episode's Captain's Kitchen. You know, when you're on these three and four day long range trips, catching quality fish, of course, is your main goal. However, there's something that really enhances that experience, and that's the food that you're gonna be served. Aboard a lot of charter boats and head boats, you know, you're talking frozen meals, crap. We've got 
Chad, who's the chef aboard Yankee Captains, and Chad, the food that you pump out of this little galley is incredible. Where does it come from? I mean, to tell me how you do it. Uh, I just take what my grandfather taught me on growing up with all the freshwater fish we catch. And over the years, working in a bunch of restaurants and small spaces, I was able to adapt to the boat to provide a nice meal for the guys that come awesome. out here. And I'll tell you what, regardless if you realize it or not, you are making these trips better for everybody. We spend a lot of time at the rail. You know, we're fishing for days on end. There's times we might be at the rail for 20, 30 hours straight with no sleep, and you need that energy. You need that fuel to keep you going so you can catch as much as possible, and you provide it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and we're talking gourmet. We're not talking your average, you know, diner food. Just as an example, tonight, what did you serve tonight? Um, for the first course, what I did was a nice uh, ceviche with uh, multiple snapper. I used a yellowtail uh, American red snapper and yellow eye snapper. And of course, uh, as fresh as possible. I mean, come on. <laughs> supermarket's right underneath my feet, so right. I can't complain. Um, and then for our first course, um, what I did was uh, did a nice mutton snapper uh, with a chipotle cinnamon rub uh, on a cast iron skillet. Big thing I need to use out here is a cast iron skillet. Finished it in the oven for a couple of minutes. I did it over a nice bed of spinach and uh, risotto on top is a nice pineapple bell pepper chutney. Absolutely, you know, most guys that come out on this boat, they don't eat like this at home and they don't eat like this out at restaurants. So it really is an awesome experience that enhances the entire long range adventure. Thanks again, Chad. Food's absolutely gourmet. Oh! Like that. Just like that. Just like that. that horse eye up here, Shut up. <laughs> Don't say that. Not from 220, ain't no horse eye. Look at a little bit deeper. Oh, man. What do you got, Carlos? I don't know. Snapper or grouper, hopefully. Yeah. Just a couple quick pops off the bottom and something hammered it. Why are you going with the spinner and not the conventional outfit? I don't know, I'm digging it. The last couple trips, I'm digging the spinner. It's been uh, it's been good mojo for me, so I'm sticking with it. And it's really important, guys, when you're fighting a fish. I mean, this is kind of a light setup. I'm just taking my there time. Is, there he is. Taking nice my time. Coming up. Nice is that what that is? Yep, nice okay. Mutton. Just like this, nice and easy. And he'll come up. No, that's a grouper, buddy. That's not a snapper. Yeah. Grouper, grouper. It's a grouper. Yeah. Barely hooked. You got him? All right. Mama's gonna like that one. You're not Mama. What are you talking about? He thinks he's Mama? What's wrong with him? What the hell is wrong with this guy? I think the heat is getting to his dome. That's what happened. The, heat, the, heat, the heat's getting to your dome, bro. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Boats get dirty, that's a fact. Thankfully, Rejuvenate Marine uses patented nanotechnology to make your boat cleaning faster and easier, literally cutting your cleaning time in half. Watch this. With highly concentrated biodegradable ingredients across their complete line of cleaning and care products, Rejuvenate Marine lasts longer while providing professional cleaning power that's safe for all surfaces and for the environment. Rejuvenate Marine, spend more time fishing and less time cleaning.
It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Two hundred and forty foot of water. Absolutely no wind, blistering hot. Almost everybody's jigging, some guy's bait fishing. Another fish hooked up right here. And our third day here, really second full day of fishing. What day is today? I don't even, so I'm sorry, I don't, I haven't slept in so long. I can't remember what day is what. Again, real important when you're fishing this jigging tackle, even the bait. You know, these are big, strong fish. You're fishing deep water, a lot of guys. Finesse really plays a big role. You work so hard to get out here. You wanna make the most out of every fish. You just gotta take your time. You guys aren't getting bit? There you go, he's on. That's a good one too. Oh, hold him, hold him, dude. That fish is smoking you. Yeah. That's the right one. Nice work, Jeff. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Just want to let you know that I cleaned out the jacks for you. Yeah. All right. He's Just helping cleaning with up the all of the other, you know, well, those stuff are, that those could are to catch. interfere with your quality grouper. I'm just, you know, taking everything else out of the way. Right? So this way you could focus exclusively on the trophy class fish. Yep. The demersals. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate. That was it right there. Nice. Nice. Look at that mouth, man. I can't get over that. It's so awesome. Holy Ridge, Florida Sport Fishing. Come get you some. Big black grouper. Looked like a gag at first. We thought it was a gag. A lot of times these fish will fool you. They really look similar. Very similar. Very similar. But this one is in fact a black grouper and not a gag grouper. First round was incredible. Look at this oh, oh yeah, dude, you're lucky you got that fish. He's heavy, really, really heavy. 25 pounds? Uh, Maybe more? Hold on. 28 pounds, 6.2 ounces. All right, I just changed my jig. I had something that was sinking a little bit faster. There is. So I went color. a little bit lighter, so it has more, a little more flutter action as it's, you know, we're swinging and that made the difference getting a bite here just one quick pop off the bottom and got hammered well luckily you're getting that fish right there a nice group of people that's like exactly what it is big move here we're gonna wrap up this area it's coming up oh i like it when they come up like that with bubbles oh he ate it dude oh, look at the jig it. he ate that thing it's in his mouth oh don't 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 do that to me now ate it that's a good one for the for the tube to show the right there. the actual jig right. disappeared in his mouth. Yep. Can you put him in the boat, please? Thank it's you. Not going anywhere. All right, just you know. He's not going anywhere. Just, dude. Where's he gonna go? Look at him. First of all, you've got 19 hooks in him. Second no, of all, three. I've got the gaff in three, him. Three, three hooks. He's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. Nevertheless, nice fish. And again, I think what we're gonna do switch gears. We're gonna wrap it up here in this area. Make a little run, maybe three to four hours. Go mutton snapper fishing on I'm the all, anchor. It's one of my favorite Switch fish. it up, even though we've been jigging the entire time. Everybody, or a lot of guys have been jigging. We're gonna switch it up and everybody's gonna fish bait. And that's something that's real important when you're on the anchor looking for those mutton snappers. Because if you've got guys jigging and those jigs are bouncing off the spooking reef, the fish. it's gonna spook the muttons. It's yeah. a different fishery mm -hmm. out here in Pulley Ridge mm -hmm. than it is in areas like the Dry Tortugas where we're gonna be heading. The tactics have to change, the tackle has to change, the bait has to change. But if you do it right and you're dialed in, could be explosive fishing. But that's a nice grouper. Good job, pal. That's not too shabby. By the I mean, way, I, I like your that. shirt. Do you? You have excellent taste in apparel. I have excellent taste. You don't think it works both ways? Pro's Tip, brought to you by Pelagic. High performance offshore gear.
The game has changed. Wrapping up our long range adventure, our last evening of fishing. Decided to switch it up. Came a little bit closer to home. Still about 60 miles or so outside Key West and specifically targeting the mutton snapper now. No more jigs, put all the jigs away. Now it's all about bait fishing. Fishing goggle eyes, fresh bonitas, really any fresh cut bait, that's the key. Typical fish finder rigs, six, eight, 10 ounces of lead. And just keep that bait moving out away from the boat. And the key with this mutton fishery in here it's all about presentation. If it doesn't look right, smell right, move right, the muttons won't eat it. They're just, they're a different breed than the fish that are way out in the Gulf over a hundred miles offshore. Problem with this is we've got to adapt to the conditions. Right now we've got the current just screaming right off the stern here. And when you've got 25 guys around the boat all fishing the bottom, you're gonna expect some tangles but just work through it. That's what party boat fishing is all about. And certainly what mutton snapper fishing is about. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now, and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. Another one on the jig. Woo! That's Grouper Dynamo. How's that for a sea monster? Chaos, gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. The secret's out. Now you can show off a great catch with a trophy smile for a fraction of the cost. Vacation in Costa Rica and complete all of your cosmetic and restorative dental needs. Minutes from San Jose, Top Dental Care's ultra-modern facility utilizes the latest technology and only FDA-approved materials. U.S. trained doctors specialize in dental implants, dentures, bridges, crowns, and veneers. And don't forget about family and friends. At Top Dental Care Costa Rica, you don't have to make a great catch to show off a trophy smile. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand saltwater. Taco Marine, official outrigger system of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Boat Outfitters, a huge selection of tackle storage systems to keep you organized and your lines tight. Salt Life Optics, anti-glare Zeiss lenses, provide on parallel protection and polarization. This is one of the last drops that we're doing on the way in. Captain's got a little honey hole here. And American Red Snapper season just opened up here where we're fishing in the Gulf. So we're getting into them already. And there's right behind you, there's a guy hooked up. You can hear the sound effects. We got some stuff going on right now. That's the way to do it right there, boys. Teamwork. Had three fish on here all crisscrossed and working together, we were able to get all three of them out. Oh, I just got sharked. Yep. Oh, shark just cut me off. Yeah, some jack, some red snappers mixed in. That's an African. African pompano? Yeah, that's an African. Big one. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is. Nice African. Got it? That's the thing about fishing these spots late in the evening. Sunset, again, looking for those red snappers, looking for the muttons, but there's always that surprise right there, baby. Nice. 
Solid work. Solid work right there. Now when those things are juveniles, remember they've got the long, you know what I mean? Kind of like the, right. But as they mature and get older, they lose most of that. They've got a few strands, but that's about it. Another African, but a beautiful fish. Hard fighter, great on the dinner table. Wow, what an awesome fishing trip this was. I'll tell you what, looking back, it was absolutely exciting. You know, here we are 70 hours later, right where we started, Key West, Florida. It's been a long trip, but it's been a ton of fun. We're really fortunate. We had some great weather, flat calm seas. You know, we couldn't have asked for better weather as far as that's concerned. We had a great group of anglers from far and wide. We even had a dentist join us from Minnesota. I mean, talk about a ride to get down here. You know, the fishing, we never found that steady bite we were looking for, but we picked away at them. We picked away throughout the entire trip, caught a variety of fish on both bait and jigs. You know, the list goes on and on. The variety was exceptional. Yellowtail snapper, mangrove snapper, red snapper, cubera snapper, mutton snapper, snowy groupers, red groupers, gag groupers, dolphin, cereal mackerel, African pompano. I, I, I tell you, I mean, it's just unbelievable. You never know what you're gonna catch out there. And I'll tell you, even though this trip is over for this year and we're just distributing the fish and everybody's getting ready to split, we're all looking forward to 2020. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.